found a rust spot. Another rust spot. Right Where's the piece of tape? There's like a little rubber rubber thing there and just took it off. Now we took the throttle cable out. And uh, so we're getting ready to um, prep and cover for paint. Well, primer right now. And uh, we discovered another spot in the rusty. She got it nice and thinned up though. Yeah, this was the thing I filled off. That's what it's it. Step outside so that I can do this. You want to open up the big door? Sure. And then we'll go. Must not have been cleaned right. So, so, it, and it did the same thing here. You see down here? Mm -hmm. It did that. But uh, so we'll we'll just sand those off. Some of this will get sanded off anyway. But I did down under here. That's all painted. That looked good. That's all primed. Under there's primed. I had a little run back there. We'll have to sand that a little bit, and then we'll uh, let this set up, and then we'll sand them. We'll probably respray that and then we'll come back and put the sealer over top. What happened there? Uh, I don't know. We'll have to we'll sand this off. There we go. I had the thing zoom way in. <laughs> That's good for a Monday. Yeah? Yeah. Alright. Let's go to bed. See you tomorrow. guys good? I'm good. Here's what we got. We got primer down and then I went and threw and sprayed guide coat. What's a guide coat? Uh, it's a thing I learned about on the internet and I didn't know about it before. Apparently um, it seems like a pretty good idea actually. Um, you take a, a spray paint can and you spray just a little bit of paint color. Just a little bit of paint color on top of the, um, the primer. 
And so when you're sanding the primer, yeah, I mean, you, you could just take your hand and just kind of wipe and you'll feel the difference between this and someplace that's been sanded. But if you take your sandpaper and you sand an area, the guide coat goes away. That's a neat idea. I, uh, I watched uh, uh, Robbie Layton. He's a guy connected to the Matt's Off-Road Recovery. And he did this on his stuff. I'm like, why is he doing that? Oh, that's pretty cool. So that's where we're at. We got to sand this stuff. And um, maybe Saturday, I'm thinking, we can get it back to blue again. I don't know. Keep going. Last night, I came out here and I sprayed a guide coat on um, so that uh, we can sand. So today, it's Saturday. Uh, hopefully this video gets out to you guys tomorrow. We'll see. It's going to be a pretty busy day. Uh, but um, we've got to sand off the guide coat. We've got to make sure that all our primer is ready. Then we'll clean it. And then soon, very soon, we're going to pick spray color on it. Go. Yeah, at least one spot we have to respray. The rough edge there. Yeah, that's better. It's much better. That set up and then um, I'll try to you don't know. Well come on and let's show you what we gotta do. Okay. I'm cold. What? I said K. I'm cold. You're cold? Turn the heat up. Okay. You'll be you'll be warm after a few minutes of, of this mess. Okay. Okay. All right. So you see the black spray, the black speckles everywhere. Yes. You run nice. your hand over the black speckles, like right here. You feel how it's kind of like rough. Almost matte. Almost matte. But then if you go over here, um, let's see. Where have I sanded? Well, let's sand a spot. You sand this. Now run your hand over that. Oh, that is so much better. Do you see the difference? Yeah. So what, that black coat, that black spray, is just like a little bit of a. It's a. It's called a guide coat, so that yeah. you can you can kind of visually see where you've been. But what we're really going for is we want to take that we want to take that rough, the 
kind of, I don't know what it's called. We want to take that off. So you take the, this is, it's 300 grit, the 320 grit. And you just sand a little bit and then that will come off. So we have to do that to the whole area over here. This over here, you can kind of see I've already done it. And if you run your hands down it, you can tell, you can find those spots. Even the, even the, um, the non-primered sp stuff, we're going to want to hit with this because the overspray might be on there. Like up in here, you can kind of see if that's so. But most of this over here is done. I've already done most of a lot of it. And you don't want to go through. Right. So you don't want to go through you just the, want to make to, it smooth. Yeah, you don't want to go through the metal. Like you don't want to see like right here you can kind of see there's a couple of high spots that came through a little bit. We're just gonna ignore that because we are who we are. <laughs> but if we have to respray again, I'll probably go and look for them and then just touch them again. Mm -hmm. That's what happened down here is I had a couple of spots where I went through and then down here I had to fix a spot. So if you want to take a little piece like this and hop in there and then just 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 try to be as like methodical methodical as you can because should we have wrapped this? No, we're gonna replace that. Oh. We have another one. Okay. All right. So where should um, I start? So I've started here and I kinda of went all the way up in here. Down here, um, I got down to like here. This is kind of, this is just a little bit down here. That's good right there. So if you wanted to, you can either start on the, on the underside here, like back in here, and all those little spots, or you can go across the, the front of the, the top of there. This spot is going to be covered by battery, right? Yeah. So there's just a little bit of roughness there, and I was like, ah. Eh. Yeah, this actually, um, that looks terrible. Yeah, but, but it's very textured. We're going to put, um, actually that's one of the things I'm hoping to do today, is put seam sealer on this and across here. So when we're done sanding, we're going to put seam sealer on and then we're going to paint. Okay. I think the seam sealer is technically supposed to go onto the bare metal. But I'm going to, I'm going to pretend that I didn't read that. <laughs> This is like, it's like a, it's a pretty slow process that um, is time consuming, but it's also pretty much the last step before we put the color on. And once there's the color, we can put stuff back in. Once there's the color, we can put stuff back in. Sometimes when you're working in an area, if you're not sure like how you're doing and stuff, I take this little sprayer and I just get the dust off so you can kind of start over again and see where you're going. If we ever get to the point where we're resurfacing, repainting the whole Jeep, this is this is like the whole process is just sanding and painting and sanding and painting. <laughs> well, we've been out here sanding for a couple hours now and um, making some good progress, but um, also finding other things to do. So uh, it started right here. You know, this core support dealie here had some rust behind it there. So, and then I found this up here. And so then I started looking at this over here, 
And so that kind of led me into looking at that in there, which reminded me that we had, you know, to deal with that. So, um, I, I really wanted to paint today, but it's not going to happen. Um, we really wanted to paint today or tomorrow, but it's not going to happen. So what's going to happen though is I'm going to end off this video right here and ooh, we're going to bump the camera on that. We're still sanding and we haven't gotten to paint yet, but we have been working on it. And the next step is probably going to be not paint. Nope. No. We're going to clean the underwells under down in there. And, uh, and then we're going to paint, uh, hopefully, maybe soon. Right. <laughs> but that's it for today. Thanks for stopping out. Like this video, subscribe if you're not already. We'll see you guys next time. I guess that'll have to do.